Hi everyone, welcome back to the cocktail vlog. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make It's Always Sunny. So this particular one, a nice and simple vodka cocktail. Everyone can recreate at home. I've had a few people saying that they've been missing ingredients because I've been using um, chartreuse and mezcal. So hopefully you guys have the, these ingredients. Uh, I'm gonna be using, so vodka and cochi americano. If you don't have cochi americano, you could probably substitute it for like a, a dry vermouth. This is an aromatized wine and it just has stronger, sweeter and probably more bitter flavors than a dry vermouth. But you can substitute this for a dry vermouth. Give it a try and comment below to let me know how it goes. So starting with the vodka, using kettle one today, 1.5 ounces, 45 mils, then the cochi americano, half an ounce, 15 mils, then freshly squeezed orange juice, three quarters, 22.5 mils, and exactly the same for the fresh lemon juice. And two dashes of orange bitters. The original recipe does actually call for regans, but I don't have any regans at the moment, so Angostura will have to do. Then food cocktail shake with ice and give it a good shake. So this recipe does call for straining over ice into like a brandy balloon. Uh, today I'm just gonna be using a, a tulip or a hurricane glass, which is um, actually brings me back to when I first started bartending. So fill that glass with ice and strain over the top. This tulip, tulip glass does have a big capacity, so it comes up a little bit short. But there we go, give it a bit of a wiggle and then garnish with an orange twist. Express the oils, and then rim the glass. And there you have, it's always sunny. Cheers. Do you get those botanicals coming through from the kochi? Uh, the orange juice is quite prominent, so I'll probably lower that a little bit Very simple, nice light drink. It's not too bad, but it doesn't astound me. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.